Do I have to teach a Zoom class? Can I not remember to turn on a microphone? Hello! How we doing? Cassie's here with your dogs. You know I love seeing your dogs. Woohoo! Stephanie, you better have your cat in the room. Cassie's got her dog, so you better have your cat. There she is. Oh wait, is it that's a different one? The other one's black and white. Yeah? You have two. I love it. It's like charades. Two animals. All right, Marlene's here. Hello, hello, Chris is here. Hey, Mika. Woohoo! Mrs. Mertz is here. She must be joining from her school computer. Hello, Amanda. How are you doing? What's up, the Phoenix? Barbara's here. Barbara, I don't think I've seen you before. Whoa, what? Welcome, Barbara. I think I think we're new here. The dog's trying to work out, too. I cannot bring my dog in here, but he doesn't want to come in here with me, so it's, it's mutual. Cecilia's here. What is this tonight, guys? This is like Animal Central. Can I please spotlight this? Look at this. Go, Cecilia! The dog's leading the class. Woohoo! Everybody, we're going to do the bark tonight. All right. So, oh, she's got another one in the background. Cecilia's like, please take my dogs off. Take my dogs off. All right. Let's do this. Hi, Irene. Hello, hello. All right. Shall we get this party started? Shall we? We had some early birds tonight, too. I saw y'all. Sarah must not be in Phoenix right now. We do not have pine trees in Phoenix. Are you in Flagstaff? Is that Flagstaff or are you like out of state? You see, you see pine trees and you know you are not in Tahoe. Whoa. All right, Texas. All right, you see pine trees and you know you are not in Phoenix. Because in Phoenix, here's a fun tip for y'all. We have cats out here if you didn't know. But the farther up north you go, there's no more cacti. They can't survive the weather up there. Don't ask me why. All right, let's do this. Deborah, Deborah, we've missed you. All right, focus. All right, hello everyone. I'm focusing now, I'm focusing. My name is Lauren Sachs. With us tonight, all the way in Colorado, is Lindsay Coleman! What, what? Me and Lindsay tonight. You got a lot of crazy in one Zoom class tonight, let me tell ya. So, Lindsay's gonna go first because it's an hour later for her than it is for me. So she's gonna get our heart pumping, and then I'm gonna get our muscles pumping, all right? So if you don't have dumbbells tonight, you're gonna wanna grab canned goods or water bottles. Just make sure both of your water bottles have the same amount of water in them. Don't drink from them, okay? Or, or class will get progressively easier. And 
That's it. You don't need anything for Lindsay, but you need something that's weighted for me. I saw a lot of you with cats and dogs. Those will work. So whatever. We got options. This program is free to you because of generous support from AARP Arizona. Everybody give them a round of applause. Without them, this class would not be happening. And every Tuesday, you get completely different fitness instructors and fitness formats, different workouts, all sorts of things. But the one thing that's the same is that we always show you options to make the workout completely your own. Yes? If, if we do something and you're like, girl, not doing that, just give us like 2.5 seconds and we'll show you like 20,000 other options you could do in place of that move, yes? All right, let's go. You ready, Lindsay? I'm taking myself off. Remove. Oh, wait, wait, I did not remove myself. There we go. It's Lindsay's turn. Hello, hello everybody. How is everyone doing tonight? I hope you are so happy. I see some familiar faces. I love that. I love getting to be welcomed back. So thank you, Lauren. Lauren, I don't know if you remember, but about a year ago at this time, I was in Fit Phoenix super pregnant and you were not in fact pregnant. So we are switching places tonight, girl. You see that? We are having some fun switching that. All right. So I am doing some spiked with you. I have done this with you before. It is a cardio kickboxing workout and it does move rather quickly into a beat. That being said, just like Lauren said, we are going to give you plenty of options throughout the class. So if something seems kind of tricky, just hang on, do what you can. I always like to say your heart can't see your feet. So even if you're doing something totally different than me, it doesn't matter because you're still moving, right? Sound good? Give me a yes or yes. Yes or yes. Okay. Amazing. Sarah gave me a thumbs up. I do love those thumbs up, you guys. Did that share? I don't know if it actually did or not. Am I sharing my audio? I think so. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I know. It's like the, the tree in the woods thing where it's like, if you don't ask if your screen is being shared, is it being shared? You know, like, does, does anybody actually know? I don't know. All right, let's play. All right, everybody, get some space around you. Grab a water bottle, get some energy, and let's go. Give me a thumbs up for beats. rock and roll if you can hear they that music. Like they yes, you can. Okay. They don't take the let's warm like you up. You ready? Just step like and roll the shoulder. Snap left, snap like right, snap, left. Snap. Right, yes. Oh, roll your shoulder. You've got to keep going. Step eight, seven. Woo! We're just getting that synovial fluid rolling. I want you to march the right. Right, left, right, jab. Left, right, left, jab. Yes. Hey, again, we're going through this step by step. So just stay with me, okay? Single jabs, left, right. Left, right. Left, right. Yes. Turn through your hip, rotate through your body, and think about a long, straight punch towards that front. All right, we're going to march right again. Right, left, right, cross. So what's the difference in a jab and a cross? On that cross, I'm crossing the line of my body here. Yes. Go. Singles. Singles. Left. Right. Left. Right. Yes. Oh, I'm looking at you. And you look good. Come on. I got to turn it up on my end. Left. Right. Four. Three. Hey, we're going to march again. One, two, three. Hook. Oh. So on our hook, it's a 90 degree angle. We're thinking about turning that body right at the hip. Yeah, four more. Go singles, singles, left, right, left, right. Okay, so I want you paying attention to your feet because we're moving those feet the entire time. Even if we're punching, we're moving. March it, march it. Uppercut, yes. Up, right, left, right, drive. Then you can do your uppercut, whatever feels good to you, okay? You can make it feel good. Here, now give me a single, go. Left, right, left, right. Hey, again, we want to stay higher? Stay higher. You never have to go as full intensity. 
Choose your level right now. March in three, right here. Right, left, right, knee. Left, right, left, knee. You want to keep those knees lower? Keep them lower. That's perfect. If you want to really reach and pull, do it. Yes. Oh, come to me. Four knees. Four, three, two. Take it back. Four, three, two. Take it up. If you want to hop it, you can hop it. Find that level, remember? Okay, march it three again. Now this time, give me a kick. Right, left, right, kick. Now again, you stay lower, you can go higher. There are so many options, yes? Go, two knees, two knees. Left, right, now two kicks. Hey, just keep them low, keep them low. We're kicking a shin right now. And I don't know if you've ever been kicked to the shin, but that hurts. So shin level is perfect. Yes, March three. I want you to give me a side step push. So we call this a side push, and that's because I want you to think about that push and pull. But remember, you can stay lower. Two knees, two knees, two side push. Left, right. Again, we can stay nice and low to the ground. Everything works. Yes, left, right. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo. March at three. Give me a round. Oh, so that roundhouse, it's the only kick where I'm gonna point my toe and I'm thinking about slapping my target with the shoelace. Two knees, two knees, two round house. Left, remember, if you wanna jump, you jump. Hey, I've got you. Left, right, woo -hoo -hoo. go, one more. Nice, jump rope, jump rope. How you feeling? You feel pretty good? Say yes or yes. Okay. All right, we're going to get started with this first combo then. Hey, okay. go. I want the right hand to come to me. We're going to cross. Right, left, right, left, right. Yes. Oh, so I'm just stepping it, making it big, bracing through my core, and having it. Listen. We're gonna make this quicker. Go, right, left, right, left, yes. Now again, if that's too quick, stay with it slower. That's okay. Find that level that works for you. Go right, left, yes, check it out. Right, left, then I'm gonna double right. Oh, I know, I'm adding on every single time. We go right, left, double, left, right, double. Hey, do you think you can handle one more part? Jab cross, we go right, left, double, down. What? Hey, one, two, down. Yes. Oh, right, left, double, down. Good. Two more, two more. Woo -hoo. Hey, take a second. Knee, knee. Well, I'm just lifting my knees. Step right, left knee, and then the other side. Yeah? If you want to throw those hands in the air, Throw your hands in the air. Like you're free to do what you want, just like the song says. If you want to start to add a little bit of hopping, add some hopping. Yes? Throw those hands up. Come on. Right. Left. Yes. We go. Woo! From your top. Double. One, two, double. Two more times. Go. Oh, now give me those freedom knees. That's what we're going to call them. But remember, you want to be here, here. Single, single, double, go! Right, right. Oh, two more. Woo -hoo. Freedom knees, step right. Row, row. Oh, four more. Four, three. Hey, jab, cross. Now I just want you to march it back. Right, left. March it back. Hey, keep it going. Right, left, right, left, march. One more, you got this. Hey, I'm gonna add a little dance to Flair. You ready? Pump it, pump it. Oh, right, left, right, left, pump it. Yes, you can give me that crunch while you pump. Go, hey, one more time from the top. Double, go, two more, two more. Nice, freedom knees. Remember, right here, I got you. Three, two, jet cross, go right. Pump it, pump it. Yes, right, left, right, left. Two more, come on. Go, one more time. Hey, 
go, go, go. Recover. How are we doing? You good? Okay, so you see how the music got a little faster? I want you to jump rope, jump rope, and let's make this happen. Skate to the right, right, left. Now, you can start jumping right away, or you can step touch. Yes? Oh, good, good. I want you to stay here, but make it bigger. Go, go, come on. Oh, you're pressing off that standing foot, leaping side to side. But remember, even if you're step touching, you're making an intentional double knee. Hold, hold. I'm staying lower to the ground initially. Yeah? Or I can step knee. If I really want to pop it up, I'm going to take that knee up. Yeah. You can say, call me, baby. Hey, think that, think that. Good. Come on. Stay low. Right. Left. Can you give me four more times? Maybe you want to step touch. Step touch. I got you. Four. Three. Two. Double knee. Remember. Option to be here. Here. Or here. Yes? Oh. Show me. Show me. Call me, baby. Hey. The phone, it's for you. Come on, go. Right to finger. That's what the person on the phone said. They said, can you do more? And you said, yes. Go, four, Woo. three, come on, come on. Two, and one. Oh, done. Hey, you get to get a drink of water. Do it. Yeah. I know you guys are so good. You're so good. Hey. Left hand, left, right, left, right. Hey, so good news or bad news, <laughs> whichever way you think about it, yeah? If we do something on the right, we do it on the left. So make it quicker, left, right, left, right. Now again, if that feels just a little too quick for you, come back and just be here. And you can be there the whole time. Oh, my camera turned off, keep going, keep going. Hey, hey, I'm gonna give you another spear set, go. Oh, hey, my camera turned right on at that 32 count. It's like a new. Hey, go, hurry. Okay, I'm gonna add another layer for you. Ready? Single, single, double. One, two, double. Left, right, double. Now, unless you get used to the choreography, could you pick up your heel a little bit more and turn your body? Now, I want you to take it down. Single, single, double down. Double down. Yes. Oh, remember, you want to stay higher. Stay higher. You can do it. Three, two. Hey, step left. Knee, knee. Now remember, we can stay here, keeping the knees on the ground. Or we can add that little hop. Yes, you got it. Now remember, the arms are up to you because they're called freedom knees. But throw those arms in the air. Yes, you're free. Freedom, come on. Remember, you want to be here. You be here. I'm just tossing it. Four, three, from the top. Single, single, double down. Yes, two more, two more. Good. You're going to step left. Step, freedom. Hey. Good, remember, jump or don't. I want you to do you. Single, single, double. Yeah, two more, two more. Step left. You know me. Woo! Good. Four more. We're gonna add one more layer. Jab, cross. Now march it back. Yes. Left, right, left, right, march. Now right now, you might be like, you know what, teacher? I like this move. So stay there. But if you want to get a little funky fresh, show me. Pump, 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 pump. Who will benefit of the pump? Guess what? It's also a crunch. Hey, go, go. Single, single from the top. Go, go. Two more, come on. Go. Freedom, knees, step. Hey, ho. Yeah, four more. Woo hoo. Jab cross, jab cross. Pump it back. Good. Left, right, left, right. Two more. Oh, do you hear it speeding up? Do you hear it? Hey, jump rope for me here. Woo! Yes. Okay, so this is your moment. Get that tempo underneath you, because I'm about to make you go a little harder. Are we ready? In four, three, two, deep step. Left, right. Could you be right here? Always. Yes? 
But could you push up that foot a little more and start to actually get a little impact? Yes, and make it bigger. Come on. Go left, right. Oh, yeah. Remember, this is up to you. I want your own personal best. That's all you can ask for. Step left, double knee. Could you be here? Yes. Could you step it? Yes. But again, make it yours, double. Could you go higher? Always. Come on, four, three, two, right and left. Woo. I know, you kind of want to take a breath, right? That's what the music is telling you. Take a breath, that's okay. Yeah, you still got about 30 more seconds. Ready, double knee, remember. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, hey, you can sing it with me. Call me, baby. Hey, oh, no, phone, phone, two, holy fit left. Right, yes, come on. We are almost there. Eight, four, two, yes, you're done. Woo, check it out. Hey, Sarah. How you doing? Yes. Hey, Renee. Cecilia. How you doing? You good? Woo. All right. All right. So just in case you were like, we're done. We're not done. We got another combo, but you're going to get it. I want you to start with a jab to me. Jab, upper, right, left. Jab, upper. So I'm going to show you from a slight angle. See how I'm turning my body from the back? Yes? Oh, hey, make it quicker. Jab, up, up, jab, up, up, yes. Now, could you be slower? Yes. Take what level feels good for you. I'm gonna give you options, you're gonna take yours. Jab up. Now I want you to step. Right knee, right knee, jab, up, jab, up, step. Right knee, right knee, yes. Go, oh. Now remember, if you want, you can make this bigger. You can start to travel more forward, and you can jump on the way back. Hang here, hang here. Back kick, front kick. Back kick, knee. Left, right, left, knee. If you want to stay lower, we stay low. Yes, left, right. Stay here. Come on. Now remember what I said in that warm up about these kicks. Push. Push, push. So it's not just a flick. You're not just throwing your leg out there. I want you to think about pushing something down. Jab up from the top. Two knees. Do it again. Come on. Two knees. Back kick, front kick. Back, front, back. Hey, go. We're going to do that one more time. Jab up to me. Two knees. One more, one more. Yes. Back kick, front kick. Back, front, back, knee. One more. One more. Oh, hold it here. Tap right, tap left. Yes. Right, right, left. Now, if you want, you're going to add some arms, like a W, moving in the opposite direction. Stay there, stay there. Out, out, go. If you want to add that little hop in between, you should do it. If you want to stay higher, stay higher. If you want to take up the arms and just do the legs, do it from the top. Jab up, jab up. Two knees back. Do it again. Go, go. Back kick, front kick. Step back, front, back. Are you pushing? Come on. Go. Double right, right. Now left. Come on, this is your last little bit. Right, right, left, left. Could you be here? Always. Yes? Two more. Right, right, left. Jump rope for me. Woo! How we doing? You feeling pretty good? Okay, so we're gonna come into another spike. Yes? Go. Four, three, two, squat. Four, three, two, one. Then hop, hop, hop. We're gonna call those over the river. Yes? Two, one. Over the river, over the river, yes. Oh, stay here. Go, go, over the river. You can also be low and tap. Now you can just pulse, yes, tap it. Over, over, yes, double, single. Hey, hey, one, two, double. Right, left, double. 
Now, you can run low, or you can run high, or you can step three with the knee. Let's stay right there. Come on. Go. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Yeah. I like to get people involved. I like you to say hey from time to time. Good. Good. Listen. Hey, hop in. Good. Now over the river. Right, left. Single, single, double. Go. Right. Yes. Left. Come on. Four more. Woo. Breathe. Two more. Go, go. Hop it. Four, three. Over the river. Right, left. Okay, you are done. You're done. I know. Like I said, it's just a quick cardio interval to try and get that heart rate a little higher. Yeah? And then we start again on that left. Woo! Come back to me. Hey. Good. I want you to jab. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Now again, you want to stay here the whole time? I want to give you that permission. This is your workout. Find it. Now make it quicker. Left, right, left, right. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're hitting a punch every single beat. Turn your hip if you can. Now four to me. Two knees, so you're gonna lean that way back and push, pulling that left knee to the left elbow. Yeah, lean the weight back. Good. Oh, I saw it. Can you keep going? Remember, if you wanna be here, you can add a little bit of a jump. Oh, you can find that intensity any way you want. I got you. Breathe. Back kick, front kick. Right, left, right, knee. Let me show you from the side. Could I stay lower? Always, always. Yeah, are you getting a theme here? You can do what you want. Hey, keep it going. Right, left, right. Remember, lower to the ground. This is your perfect option. Yes, keep it going. Hey, one more. We're gonna add on from the top. Yeah, but two knees. Do it again. Two knees. Back kick, front kick. Right, left, right, knee. Good. Can you do it one more time? Come on. Knees. One more, one more. Oh, are you turning that hip on your uppercut? Say yes or yes. Go. One last layer, left leg, double. Now right, double. Now left, one, two, one, two. Now, if you wanna start adding those arms, they're in opposition, taking that W. If you wanna start adding that hop, add the hop in between the moves. But again, stay here. Oh, put it, I know, you are looking fantastic. I know you can do this. Go, jab up from the top. Two knees. Do it again. Do it again. Two knees. Back kick. Front kick. Right. Left. Right. Hey. Go. Go. Left leg. Come on out. 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 Right. Right. Left. Left. Good. You can do it. Four. Woo. Three. Two. Nice. One. Hey. Recover. Recover. Yes. You got about 32 counts. Now it's about seven more seconds. Hey, you ready for that little over the river? We're gonna hop first. Stay low, stay low. Four, three, two, one. Hop, 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 hop. Hey, could you be here without hop? Yes, step, touch, touch. Let's do that two more times. Go, three, two, one. Hop, hop, yes. Hop it, come on, four. Three, two, hop it, go, go. Ready, single, single, double, go. If you wanna stay lower, lower, good. Remember, you can also march it. Three, go, woo, or you can take it higher. We've got this, four, three, hop it, hop it, four. Yes, over the river, left, right. Left, hop in. Yes. Over the river. 
Driver, left, right, left. Do it again. One more. Come on. Over the river. Right. Single, single, double. Right. Left, left. Woo! Come on. Four more. Four more. Three. Two. Yes, you can. Hop it. Hop it. Over that river. Right. Hey. One more time. Go. Yes. Hop it. Woo. Woo. Hey, I want you to do it one more. I lied. Go. Go. Hey, get over. Left. Right. Left. Right. Done. Oh. How's the hurry? Is it higher? Yes. Okay. Now here's the deal. Here's the deal. I only got just like a little bit more time with you. Woo. I know Zoom is so like, there's so many things to do. You have to say hi. Hi, Julie. Hi, Pam. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. Yeah, you got to say hi. You got to get that music on there. Okay, so here's the deal. We're coming to something called a finisher. And whenever we do this finisher, yeah, whenever we do a finisher, it is a little more athletic, a little less punching and kicking. Yes. So we're going to start and I want to preview this because it's just a little tricky. We're going to start with that right leg forward, left leg back. And we're going to go lunge, lunge, knee pull, knee pull, lunge, lunge, knee pull, knee pull. If you want to jump, jump, knee pull, knee pull, you always have that option. Then you're going to step in. Yes. And we're going to go four, three, two, one, tap in, tap in. Yes. Or you can just go four, three, two, one, Jack, Jack. Yeah. All right. Then we are, if you want, and I want to make this really clear. If you want, we're going to add a burpee. Yes. And that burpee, it goes down, back, up, lift. Now you might've just watched me do that. And you were like, absolutely not teacher. I do not want to do that. That's okay. You don't have to. What you can do instead is go squat, lunge, squat, lift. Yeah. On the right side, you'll keep your right leg forward. On the left side, you'll keep your left leg forward. All right. That's all we're going to do. You guys ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. I know. I have to pretend that I hear you too, right? Because it's Zoom. So I can't really hear you. It's on a delay. So I don't even know if you think I'm funny. You know, I tell a joke and then like three minutes later, I see somebody laughing and I'm like, was that, was that to my joke? Am I, am I funny? Okay, let's do this, guys. Here we go. Finisher. Finisher. Oh, no, no. oh my gosh. So I had dental work today at like two. And I'll just let you know, like 10 minutes before we started class, my mouth finally stopped being numb. And so you get a full Lindsay smile instead of kind of the half Lindsay smile that I was getting before. So you are very lucky because it would have been a comedy show as well. Yes. Or it would have scared little kids. I'm not really sure which one it would have been. All right, here we go. I'm completely positive. All right. Let's take that right leg forward, left leg back. Ooh, find that strength right here. Let's double pulse. Down, down. Knee pull from the back. Down, down. Then I down, down, knee, knee, four, three, two, step it in right here, uppercut. Let's just do the uppercuts for now, okay? Go right, left, right, left, hey. Oh, show me, you're coming out, let's go. Hey, four, now we're gonna add on to these uppers. Up for four, I want you to tap it. Right, left, up, two, three, four, right, left. What if you wanna add that jack in? In, just a little more cardio, right? Hey, let's go from the top. Double elevator, two knee pulls. Do it again. Two knees. Now I want you to step in, uppercut. In and out. One more. Go, go. We're gonna do that one more time. Step it. Two knees. What if you wanna hop? Hop. Yes. Go, step it in, uppercut. In and out. Go. Or you step, four, three, we're gonna add on the burpee. Squat, lunge. I'm gonna show you modified first. Yes, squat, lunge. But if you want, you can come all the way down in that big leg or do the full burpee. Can you give me four more? Whatever level you want. Remember, you can reach up. 
You can come into that full squat thrust. You can come a little lower. We've got options, my friends. Go down, push. Ready? Right leg forward, double elevator. Get in. One more. Woo! Take it in. Uppercut right here. In and out. Go. One more. Four, three, two. Burpee. Down, back, up, lift, or squat, lunge, squat. Come on, two more. Oh, one more time. I got you. Three, two, guess what? Recover. Woo! Yes, you're recovering. You're feeling good. You're inhaling, you're exhaling. Because guess what? You got less than two minutes left. Ready? Left leg forward. Double squat. Then double knee pull. Down, down, in. What if you want to jump? Jump it. I got you. Go, go. Step on in. Left hand, just the uppercut. Go. I want the world to know. Come on. Oh, rotate through. Let's make those uppers a little bit more intentional. Drive. Three. Now give me four. Here. Step it in. Left, right. Hey. We can step, or what's the option? What's the option, Stephanie? We jack. Yes. Go. Three. Nice. From the top. Double elevator. Drive it. One more. Go. Go. Yes. Uppercuts. Go left. In and out. Remember, do you step or you jump? Hey. Double elevator. Go. If you want to jump, I want you to jump. Yes. Go. Uppercuts. Left and right. In and out. Go. One more time. Oh, here's your burpee. Let's start modified. Here. Yeah? So remember, I'm keeping my left leg forward this time. If I want to go all the way down, I can use one leg. If I want to do the full burpee, I can do it. No matter what you're doing, you've got four more. Go. Hey. Remember. Here. Here. Make it nice and big. Go. One more, one more. Woo! Hey, from the top, from the top. Double elevator. Two knees. One more, one more. Woo! Two knees. Upper cut. In and out. Yes. Go, one more. Burpee. Are you ready? Hit down. Go. Oh, option. Squat. Lunge. Yes. Come on, two more. This is it. This is it. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Done. Oh, I'm sorry. Not today, my friends. Maybe some other time. Hey. Yay. All right, Lauren, I'm passing it over. Hey, hey. How are we doing? Goodbye, Lindsay. There was wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. I tried to unpin her and she moved. All right. Do you have me? No, you have Lindsay. No, now you have me. You got me? Don't answer that yet. When I pinned myself, it took you off gallery. And now we freeze in. You got me? You got me? Yes? Yes? Okay. We switched and all of a sudden I'm freezing. Have to close all class. Grab your wings. But usually it just freezes for me and you guys are like, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Keep going. Is that what it's like? Maybe. Yes, no. Okay. Well, whatever it is, here we go. Sound is good? Yeah? All right. Grab your weights. Here's what we're doing. We're doing strength training. All right? We're going to do an interval-based strength training class. So you're going to have 45 seconds to do as many reps as you can in 45 seconds. We're going to ignore the beat of the music. We're going to go at our own pace. And when you hear the ding, you know you've just been saved by the bell. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, grab them. Here we go. Here we go. Rack them up. We're starting with some squats, but only your right leg is going to move. Only your right leg. Right leg steps out. Right leg steps in. That's it. It's a lateral squat. That's it. Now I want you 
stepping out ever so slightly more than hip distance apart. Just a little bit more than hip distance apart. We need to make room to drop our booty down. Now I know we all think our hips like this big, so we only have to squat like this, right? But just humor me, humor me, and step a little wider than that, okay? Just humor me. All right, next move, waist down, right arm in front, left arm to the side. Take it up to your shoulders, down to your thighs. Switch. Up to your shoulders, down to your thighs, and switch. That's it. So we call this a rotating L raise. Now, our elbows here are soft. Soft like a ballerina, yes? Have you ever seen a ballerina who dances like this? Have you? If you have, I'm sorry. It was probably a terrible performance. Soft elbows. All right. Next move, weights up overhead. Both of them. Now march. Slow, slow. These are not Lindsay Coleman cardio kickboxing marches. These are slow, controlled marches. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, girl, what are you doing? What is this? My friend, believe it or not, this here is a core move. You are balancing, you are stabilizing. That works your core. Three, two, weight on your shoulders. Let's play lateral squat. Let's go. I know, you're like, girl, I've seen this move before. We just did this. Yes, you are correct. So let me break this down for you. You have four blocks of work today. Keep going. Each block, three moves that we're gonna do two times three. I call it the four, three, two. I know, where do I come up this stuff? I know. With a lift of eyes at the end. Here we go. Just some left arm in front, right arm to the side. Up and down. I switch. So this baby, shoulders. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulders. Now, at any point in time, you could switch to warm at a time and then rotate. That works too. Shoulders tire out very easily and very quickly. So if you're already there, don't get discouraged. Tell yourself, I'm normal. Do you know? How rare I get to say that to myself, that I'm normal. I guess in muscular sense I am. Wait up. Here we go, march. Now, if you want just a little bit more, take it in a circle. Take it in a circle. That's all it is. Now, as you're marching, make sure your biceps close to your ear. Yes? This is not close to my ear. I don't even know where my biceps are right now. Tight, tight, tight. Yes. You got 10 seconds. Now your arms are up, but your shoulders relax, my friend. Keep them relaxed. Break. All right. One weight or two for next move. So you've got about 40 seconds to prepare yourself. The reason why we have such a long preparation break is because I want you lifting heavy enough that your heart rate is pounding right now and you need this time to breathe. Because believe it or not, lifting, strength training, can really boost your heart rate. So lift heavy, lift fiercely, lift with good form and you'll get the baby pumping. We're out of weight. Heels together. Step wide, right leg only. Step wide, toes point out, heels are in. Take it straight down, take it straight up. Step it in, heels together. Straight down, straight up. Only to the right, let's go. So we call this a sumo squat into a plie squat. 
There we go. Now you can use one weight if you want. If you want to use one weight, use one weight. If you want to use no weight, guess what? Are my legs still working? Yes, they are. Thank you. Two weights for the next one though. Bicep, halfway up, open, close, all the way down. Halfway up, 90 degrees, open, close, down. That's it. Now, check your elbows. Say, hey elbows, you pinned in my ribcage? You should be able to just be able to feel it, but you need to look, be like, oh yeah, yeah, they're pinned in my ribcage. Go ahead and look. It's all good, my friend. It's all good. All right, one weight for the next move. One weight. Right shoulder, yes? You're going to chop it down to your left shoulder. Bring it up to your right. Chop it down. Hup. So you're rotating. We call this a dumbbell crossbody shock. I know, it's a very, very fancy word. Anybody want to guess what this move is working? This, baby. You're like, please don't do that ever again. Don't do that. Dumbbell cross body chop to the shoulder. To the shoulder, to the hip. All right. Goblet duo. Left leg moves this time. If you want to use two weights, go ahead, grab two weights. Want to use one? Go ahead, use one. You want to use none? You guessed it. Use none. Keep going, keep going. Now, regardless if you're in the sumo or you're in the plie, wherever your toes are pointing, which is out, your knees follow. They're married. They're married. Happily married, might I add. Grab your weight. This time, palms together as if you're about to clap. Halfway. Open, close. Bicep, baby. Yes. With a little external and internal rotation. That's right. Now, if you want to stagger your stance by taking one leg slightly behind the other, that's totally okay. The reason we like to do that is because sometimes when our bikes get tired, our lower body likes to help out. We don't need no skin help. Left shoulder, cross body chop. Yes, working the core again. No crunches today, my friends. Did you know crunches? Not the best ab workout. There are so many exercises both standing and on the ground that work your core so much more than your basic crunch. And here's one of them. Ah! Exhale as you draw your weight down towards your hip. Guess what, guess what? Break, you have another 45 seconds. Walk it out, keep moving. Sarah, we're gonna miss you. But thanks for coming. All right, my friends, moving on. So if you haven't noticed the pattern yet, it goes lower body move, upper body move, core move. Did anybody notice the pattern? Anybody? If you're a fitness instructor, you don't count. No. Y'all are like, no, I'm just copying you. That's fine, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All right, here we go. Grab your weight. We got the lower body move first. Right leg is your mover. We're gonna lunge straight back onto the road tracks. Tap it in. Cross behind. Curtsy. Yes, you felt unbalanced. Well, guess what? Balance works your core. So some of these moves you will and should feel wobbly. Wobbly is okay, my friend. And we actually need to be doing moves that challenge our balance. We should. That's core training. And guess what? How many times in life?
do we lose our balance and need to catch ourselves before we fall? That's why we work it. Here we go. Overhead press. Press them up overhead. Hold it here. Weight to your shoulders. Back overhead. Pull it in. Now you might have noticed, I just swapped down to a lighter weight selection. And that's because right now, working the back of our arms. And the back of our arms tire out very easily and very quickly. It's a small muscle group. So if you want to go lighter, go lighter. All right. Keep your light weight. You only need one. Elbow to knee. Elbow knee. Exhaling as you draw your knee up and you pull your elbow down. We're getting our obliques here. Yes. Now, can you do this move with no weight? Absolutely. Pull, 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 pull. Yes, team. Make sure you're really straightening your arm at the top. Yes. You know how I feel about jellyfish. Not in this pass. Long arm. Pull. Yes. All right. Left leg is your mover. Lunge complex. Straight behind. Hurt feet. Now my hips, they're pointing forward the whole time. Even when I'm crossing behind, hips, belly button, point forward. Anybody want more? Boom, knee drive. Knee drive! Yeah, so the knee drive is optional. That additional balance challenge. Not mandatory. Nothing in this class is mandatory. Overhead press. Triceps. Now this time, I really want you to be aware of your elbows. Your elbows. Okay? I'm seeing a little bit of this. Chickening for the triceps. Okay? No chickening. Tight. See the difference? Like you've got a beach ball and you're trying to hold it in between your elbows. Like this. That's like Lauren. Do not use the Fit Phoenix props between your sweaty elbows. That's not what they're intended for. Left arm, here we go. Elbow to knee. Exhale as you drive your knee up and you pull your elbow down. Ah! More balance. Woohoo! You want even more? Let your feet like hover. Hover. Oh! How are we feeling? We getting the elbow sweat yet? Is it dripping? Dripping down our elbows yet? No? Well then keep going, Irene. Keep going. Freak! She's like, yes, yes, I feel it, I feel it. All right. You just weren't expecting me to drop elbow sweat as a term in class, were you? Never get comfortable with me. You never know what's going to come out. Or what might come out. All right. Just like seven weeks, hopefully. All right, not elbow. Yeah. I hope, well, I hope his elbow comes out, but not first. All right, friend. One more block. One more block. We got a pendulum lunge, okay? We go forward, we go backwards. Forward and backwards, which is ironic because a pendulum goes side to side, yes? Who named this move? Not me, I did not name this move. That is the technical term, let's go. Step forward lunge, step backward lunge. Talk about balance and stability. Grab your knee, only if you want. Only if you want. Yes. They want you to take, keep going, a long step. So you have room to drop your back knee down, tuck your tailbone underneath you. Ear, shoulder, hip, and knee, all in one line. Yes. Down from the back knee. Down from the back knee. Here we go. A little bit of back. Stand tall. Roll your shoulders back and down. Now. Slight bend in your knees. Tip forward. Pull. 
hands to your waist, and now fly away. Yes. So it's a beat over row to a fly. Yes. So regardless if it's the row or the fly, your shoulder blades are squeezing together on that move, on both moves. Exhaling as your weights come up. All right. One weight, right hand. Here we go. Right toes point to the side. Back toes point to your front. Let's go. Down and up. We call this a windmill. Guess what? That's, it's another ab move. Now pretend you are between two panes of glass. One in front of your body and one in back of your body. And you need to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy down without touching either pane of glass. You're sweaty, you're gonna get that glass all goopy, and I don't wanna have to clean it. Yes, all right, all right. Pendulum lunge. Left leg, now here's an option for you. One weight. You wanna drop down in your weight selection, get rid of the two, and hold your weight at your collarbone. Here's another option for you. No weight. That's still working my legs. The answer would be yes. The answer would be yes. So you pick what body needs today, right here in this moment. Then be still on fire from Lindsay. That's okay. All right, here we go. Row to fly. Here we go. Hinge it over. Squeeze your shoulder blade. Yes. Now I want you looking long on the ground. Okay? You know the move now. Stop looking at me. Stop looking at me. You know the move now. You know what I look like. Ain't no reason to be looking at me on this move. Keep your neck long. Long in line with your back. There we go. Three. Two. Break. No break. Just next move. Left hand. One move. Down. So this is a move where you're like, do I like this move? Do you like this move or am I working? It's a little bit of both. You're working your core. Your oblique. But you're also getting a nice little stretch in your legs as you lower down. You're like, I'm not used to a move. Sort of feeling nice. Go, 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 go. Five seconds. Enjoy it. Three, two, brick. All right. Here's the deal, friends. We almost done with class. We like essentially there. But you know me. I'm like a go through go home type of girl. Right? You know me, you know me a long time. It, there's no other option. Go big or do nothing at all because there's no other choice but to go big. We've got a finale. We're going to take all of those moves. We're going to do them back to back to back to back. We're going to increase the duration of the move just for five seconds. But you'll get a little break in between each move. Sound good? Yeah, baby, we got it. Grab your weight. We're going to do all lower body first. Rack them up. Lateral squat. Right side, left side. Let's go. To the right, to the left. Yes. Get low. Stand tall. I want you to really exaggerate your low and your tall. Make them two very, very different parts of the move. Yes. Remember, you don't need weight for this move. You do one weight. Your chest, the choice is yours. Go, 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 go. I'm talking five seconds. You'll never see this move again, like today. All right, sumo. Oh, but we have a break. You like it, don't ya? Little break, rack it up. Here we go, step wide. Right side. Plie, left side, plie, wide and narrow, that's it, woo, 
Low, low, low. Remember, you are in between two panes of glass. You're in between the glass. Don't get your sweat on it. I am done at seven o'clock. I'm done for the night. I'm not gonna be coming around with my Windex to wipe your sweat off my glass. Don't do it to me, please. Thank you, thank you. You've got three, two, break. All right, reverse lunge, perky lunge, together. Step back with the other, look, we're alternating. Let's go. Curtsy and reverse. Here we go. Yes. When you get to the middle, switch legs. Switch sides. You can still add knee drive if you want. Boom. I almost said that, like how my kid says things, but I censored myself. He goes, if you want. So I almost said, you can add the knee drive if you want. But then I was like, nobody would know why I'm thinking like that. So I censored myself. Break! But clearly not very well, because I still did it. What can I say? What can I say? Not much. All right. Here we go, pendulum. Right leg, take it back, switch legs. So it's forward and back on one leg, switch, forward and back on the other. If you want, you can knee drive in the middle when you're on the same leg. Yes. Woo! Yes, I know, the forward stepping lunge, especially with the knee drive, it's a very wobbly feeling. Forward lunges in general, very wobbly. Because you have to like stop the movement with your core. Break. So it is a wobbly feel. Guess what, friends? Lower body burnout, done. Let's move to upper body burnout. Here we go. Rotating, L raises, rotate at the bottom. Yes. Now remember, you can front, side, and then switch. Front, side. That works. Or go for both. You have 20 seconds left. Knowing that that's all you have, maybe you're going to want to challenge yourself and do what you don't want to do because you know it's short. It's short your breath to help execute the move. There to help you. You've got three, two, break! Biceps coming up, coming up hot. Yes. Here we go. Palms away from you. Halfway up. Open, close down. If you want, you can rotate your palms now to a hammer position and alternate between a barbell grip and a hammer grip. That's an option. Yes. Woo, both grips work your biceps. They just target it slightly differently. That's all. Same muscle. That's my girl. Yes. Looking good. Looking strong, looking fierce. We're staying to the bitter end for this burnout. You're almost there. Three, two, break. We got the tricep. Or head press, tricep. Remember, elbows tight. Okay, not tight, tight. Here we go. We want to stagger your stance. Stagger it. If you feel like your lower back is helping out, then I would highly recommend a staggered stance to eliminate some of the lower back sway. Yes. Option, one arm at a time. One arm at a time works. Yes. Really focusing on dropping your weight to the back of your shoulder. There it is, pull, pull, pull down. My friends, 
You have five seconds left. You'll never see this move again. Three, two, break! All right, we got our back move. Okay, row, fly. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Really pull. Pull on that bent over row. I know, I know. It's getting tough now. I know muscles are feeling the burn. I know we're feeling a little shaky at this point. That's why it's called the burnout. But it also means this is where change is happening. This is where the moves become not just exercise, but they become effective. This is where the magic is happening. Three, two, break. Guess what? Upper body burnout. Done. All we have left is your core. Four core moves. We're done. Weights up overhead. March. If you want to take it in a circle, take it in a circle. Now, keep going. I'm going to explain something to you. Find your belly button if you still have one. I don't, but you probably do. About like two or three inches below where your belly button is, or in the case was, is where you should start drawing in. So when you hear people say, belly button is fine, it's really like three or four inches below the belly button. From there, pull in. That's how you're really going to activate your core. Three, two, break. We got cross body dumbbell chop. All right? We're going to split this interval. Okay? We're going to split it. Right shoulder. Boom. Okay? At a 22 second mark, we're going to switch sides. You're like, girl, why 22 seconds? Well, it's a 35 second interval. That's why. You've got three, two, switch shoulders. Left shoulder to right hip. Let's go, let's go. Woo! Yeah, strong and fierce here. I want you to use some power and smooth. Don't be afraid to really rotate. Release back heel from the ground as you move into the turn. Break! We got two corners left. We got the windmill. We got the elbow to knee. We're done. Let's do elbow to knee first. 20 seconds. Let's go. 22 seconds. Then we switch sides. Almost there. Almost there. Reach. Pull. Yes. Don't forget your breath. It's going to help you. Switch. Go. Now, as you do this move, I want you to feel like you're a, what is it, marionette puppet. There's a string coming out of your head, pulling you up to the ceiling, making you stand tall. Tall, tall, tall. Yes. Break. Everybody, hold up your one more move finger. One more move. You're like, I can't. I'm holding my weight. Yes. Here we go. This time, right hand. If you want to place the weight in your top hand instead of your bottom hand, that's an option. But you will feel more shoulder stabilization and activation with the weight up top. So if you want to keep it in your bottom hand, keep it in your bottom hand. Switch. Rotate your toes. Switch the weight your hand is in. Keep going. Yes. Pop your booty out to the side as you lower down. Stand up real tall. Yes. You have three. Two. Woo. We did it, Fit Phoenix. Let's get some cool down music on. Here we go. Fit Phoenix. We did it. 
move your weights out of the way. This is the cool down. This is the most important part of the whole class. The most important part. Not the announcements, not the prizes that I clearly forgot to give out tonight and even show you. We got prizes, friends. But the cool down and the warm up, they tie. One more inhale up. You've been contracting muscles the whole class. Take your hand on your thighs, arching around your back. And now we need to lengthen your muscles back out. If you are constantly walking around with contracted muscles, like contract during some of those strength training moves, you're gonna set yourself up for injury. You will at some point get injured because you've shortened, shortened and shortened your muscles. Widen your stance, drop your right shoulder, look over your left, and you haven't given them a chance to lengthen back out. So always make sure you're staying your cool down, you're stretching, switch, so that way you can continue to hit workout and to hit it hard and get, get results. So never, ever, ever skip your cool down. Roll up. Plus, this is where you really get the opportunity to applaud yourself and to look back at the work you accomplished, which the hard stuff that was horrible, yet you persevered and you kept doing it when the going got tough. This is your chance to look back at everything you did during class, everything you accomplished, and say to yourself, man, I am like, I'm like the you know what that I can't say on a Zoom, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's who I am. You're welcome, Jennifer, thanks for coming. Four classes left, my friends. Four classes left. That's it. So make sure you come. Cause I don't I say this every time. I don't know. I don't know when the next I legit don't know when the next season's gonna be. Until it's like the next season. So but I will tell you it will be some time. Because I'm supposed to have a baby two weeks after this season ends. And, you know, I gotta have a little time to like recover before I teach again. So make sure you don't skip a class. Who's here next week? Is it Aaron? Are we dancing next week? I don't even know. I have to look at my notes. Might be dancing next week. And then something non dancey with me. You let me know what you want and I will do it. All right, friends, I'm going to let you guys unmute yourself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unspotlight myself so if somebody wants to talk, we know who's talking. You don't have to talk. But if you have anything you would like to share with the rest of the class, feel free. You're welcome, Julie. Julie or Alyssa. I never know which one of you it is, but I know it's one of you. Thanks for coming. Thanks, Stephanie. Oh, good, Betty. I'm glad you liked it. You're welcome. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you for As joining always. us, Lindsay. You're welcome. As always, Thank you. Great. Lindsay will be back. We get her one more time. Uh, you're amazing. How many months now? Uh, like seven. It's not easy. <laughs> Lindsay could vouch for me. It's not easy. But here we are. Jamie, is that you, iPhone? Woohoo! I, I give her a shout out every class. She probably hits it. Hey, Jody! Jamie is my dental hygienist. Anybody's in Phoenix or Scottsdale and needs like a super gentle dentist, she is so gentle. And also, they have TV on the ceiling, and it makes such a difference when you can literally watch puppies and babies while you're getting your teeth clean. So highly recommend. You need her info, hit me up. She does not pay me to advertise either. This is all because she treats. I got the quip. I got the quip. You know the quip, Jamie? My husband got it for me, except 
I haven't used it in a couple weeks because I made him get a replacement because my little protector on the top uh, got, like, I, I didn't have it closed. So I said, get me a new quip, but I can't figure out how to get the replacement in. So I've been using a manual. Not like I could ask my husband to change it for me, but I have a question. He will. We'll, we'll get around yeah. to it. Yes. Uh, you know, when I, my muscle hurts because I get, you know, strong and that like a next day, should I not work out that part? Or oh, it's okay. You know, it's muscle ache because from a workout, it's okay to keep it doing. Like a bite. I would definitely assess, is it pain or is it discomfort? But I will say that if it's discomfort, there's something called delayed onset muscle soreness. So, yeah, so I would say work it and then take a day off because when you work a muscle, you're tearing it ever so slightly. And the oh. only way you grow muscle is to let it repair itself. And if you're working it every single day, bye Lindsay, thank you. If you're working it every single day, you're not giving it time to repair, and so then you can't grow muscle. So I would definitely work it, and then take a day or two days off, and nice. then work it again. Great. No, thank you so much. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. All right. See you next You're Tuesday. welcome. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Any other questions? We good? Everyone feeling good? All right, if there's no more questions, I will see you next Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Bye, good night.